Hello everybody, my name is Park, and in today's video I was requested to make an elemental light bowgun build and honestly I just threw on my heavy bowgun build and took out some things, added some different things just so it's a little bit more of a comfy kind of bowgun to use as you can see it's still got the guard stuff that my heavy bowgun has in case I want to go with a shield mod instead and here is a talisman and it's a dereliction 1 with rapid morph 1 and 2 2 slots and a 1 slot and here are the skills and decorations of course all these green numbers here are from decorations as I said it's just taken from my heavy bowgun build it should do perfectly fine honestly and I think for today's video we're gonna go take it to a flaming espinas specifically this one alrighty let's go I'm actually gonna stay on this scroll because my friend informed me that uh, bowguns are generally more additive than they are multiplicative so getting raw stats is a lot better than getting, say, like 20% element, because I got Mail of Hellfire on here. Also grabbing this Puppet Spider so we get some extra damage during his Enrage, which is the main thing we're going to look for here, is we just want to get him Enraged and then do damage. It's nice and easy, like. I've also got the Paralysis Dogs on today, just to try and give me another opening. Again, we're just going to hope that he's uh, Enraged when that happens, because we do a lot more damage when he's Enraged, as you'll see here in a second. Okay, just roll a couple times, should get far enough away. Got a Vade Extender 1 on here exactly for that. I would usually run 2, but I couldn't fit it into the build. In all, in all honesty, you gotta always roll that Fireball as well. Okay, I'm gonna wait for a decent attack and then chuck the Puppet Spider down. That should be fine. Oh, okay. <laughs> that was so close actually, goodness gracious. It definitely did not reach. Like, uh, it didn't look like it reached at all, but we'll take it. Got some free damage in there. A clip or so is very, very nice. Try and make sure it hits the face, because that does the most damage. Because it's his best hit zone for me. We're just generally aiming towards the chest. It's a, it's a pretty easy fight for this, I feel like. Just going for the chest and hoping it reaches. Couple rolls there to get out of there. Nice and easy. Okay, nope. I'm not uh, countering his charges because I'm pretty sure he still has a hitbox with it. And the counter isn't a proper counter, it's just like a I'm a get out of here counter. Um, so you have, it's kind of iframes, it's kind of counter, it's weird. Basically I can roll back into him, so if I dodge through it and he still charges through me, it's going to hit me again. So it's not the most reliable thing in the world. Also going to put Amy out mine down because uh, we're pretty much out of things. Okay, there we go, reload there. I'm not too worried about um, hitting him in this phase. Oh my god, <laughs> I love using a bow gun. It's not disgusting at all that we just get one tapped. I also think I forgot to get, uh... yeah I did, that's alright. Gonna have to heal manually because it's a, a loadout without max pots. I don't know why I haven't fixed these yet. It is what it is though. As I said, wasn't too worried because I want him enraged before I'm shooting anyway. That shouldn't have hit me, but that's okay. That's okay. I'll just heal her back really slow, because uh, that's all we can do. I also don't have um, my meds on here either, so no quickly getting rid of poison. We might hit Miss Puff here in a second. Yeah, I think I will actually. Did that get her? It did. Okay. He does... does not change target. I thought so. So that was quite a waste there. It's gonna run over to Miss Puff now, we're just gonna use this time to heal. Took some big damage, of course we use Moxie in a single hit, cause it's just bowgun. It's just what they do. I should be going through the body there I think instead. Okay, there we go. Cause it is obviously piercing ammo, we wanna make it pierce through something. Couple rolls to get out of there again. Just in case it was the tray old one. Oh, staggered him. That's fine with me. Staggered him again, because it's broken parts. Should be close to breaking his face then, surely. Same thing, I'm not countering that because I'm pretty sure it has multiple hitboxes on it. He's gonna fireball. We just wait. Don't waste my ammo, because I do a lot more to the face than the rest of his body. Okay. Reload. Keep walking. Think he does the third? He does. Okay. Again, try aim it down the face if we can. Nuke, we just roll three times, we should be safe. He's only going to do one for now because this is his first... No he's not. That's bad. Oh, okay, good out of there. He usually only does one the first time he nukes, so I was a bit confused there. This is unfortunate for me because I'm about to run out of ammo entirely. 
but that's okay. We'll chuck a couple of these down and then make sure we finish off our mine here. Okay, now we leave. Go get some more ammo. Same issue with heavy bow gun. You're still going to run out of ammo. Hopefully I only have to restock once, but I guess I'll see. Depends how well I've been aiming. I've been aiming okay, I think. Most of our shots have landed at least, so we'll see. I'm still going to grab an extra Firecaster just in case, because who knows, I might mess it up. I also got to get some healing, because uh, we don't have max pots. So I'm chugging through them if I, uh, if I get hit by anything, essentially. If he breathes on me, we have to heal. Of course, it is the bowgun way, essentially, with this game at least. I don't know if it's the same in older games, honestly. But I feel like it's, it's definitely a little bit worse in this one, because obviously we have 300 levels of extra damage that they deal to us. Obviously not 300 times the damage, that would be ludicrous, because they only need like double their damage to one-shot us anyway. But it's still... they do a lot. Oh, that's a perfect paralysis, I'm so happy with that actually. I am so happy with that. I was a little bit worried that they might paralyze him when he's out of enrage, because this would have done drastically less if uh, he was not enraged. But we definitely take those victories. Okay, try aim at the face. Nice, I got an extra shot. A little bit cheeky, but I'll take it. Okay, side, side, forward. Again, there's no trails this time. We take those. Okay, nope. There. Okay, one more. No fireball, because he didn't put his shoulder down. Staggered him. I'll take it. Right. Is this trails? No, it's not. Okay. I don't know how to tell the difference between that. I don't know how, I don't know, but... I don't know how to tell if it's going to be a trail one or not. Because sometimes these fireballs have trails to them. Very scary. Okay. Reload while we do this. There we go. Oh, more shots. Get all that damage out that we can. I figured it might be a little bit better to use the mines there while he's not enraged. Just because, uh, obviously, they don't care about hit zones all that much. Just cares about what kind of attack actually hits it. For those that don't know, if it takes a really big hit, it'll do more damage. Instead of like the 150 that it normally does, it'll actually do more. Okay. So it's nice to have, honestly. Cheeky Powder Mantle there as well. Should get enraged here again. There. Okay. What's he choosing? Bites. It's alright, we'll get away from there, because he should bite forward afterwards. Shoot away at him. Nope. Oh no, we're at a ledge. Please don't. Oh, okay. He's going to fireball out of this, so we have to roll out of this one here. Nope. Because that thing has so much tracking on it. You get hit pretty much the entire... Oh, I should have rolled. I definitely should have rolled. As I said, that has a lot of tracking, so I'm surprised I actually didn't get hit by that. We did have Intrepid, obviously, but uh, don't know if that would have saved me from the bowgun peril there. Not too bad though, 7.30, a little bit slower than I expected, but it is what it is. I don't always play this. I'm not that proficient with bow guns, if you haven't noticed. Well everybody, that was some elemental light bow gun this time. Obviously just using my heavy bow gun build, because I feel like they probably do the same and want the same stuff. As always though, thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you on the next video.